So we'd like to do a short demonstration of how to make a time series plot or a line graph in Minitab 19. So I've copied the data into my program and so to make the graph I'm going to select graph I'm going to go down to time series plot and I'm going to select simple for this problem. I'm going to select time to be the series because this is the amount of time that was spent on each batch and then if I select OK, then I'm going to get a graph which is going to plot the time values on the vertical axis and on the horizontal axis it's just going to plot the line numbers. So this is the default setting for the line graph. Now we want to look at something that's slightly more advanced and so I have some additional data in this second worksheet. So if we can just look at this data for a second, this is crime statistics. We have the year, we have population, and we have various types of criminal activities that were recorded by police and the FBI. And so what we'd like to do is we'd like to plot some of these. So we look at some of our data. What we'd like to be able to do is we would like to be able to plot the crime statistics. Maybe we'll do murder and on non-negligent manslaughter. Um, and we'd like to plot on the horizontal axis, not just the counts, the line numbers, we'd like to plot years. So again, we're going to go back to graph and we're going to select time series plot. And for now, we're just going to select a simple graph since we're not going to compare two pieces of data. And what we'd like to select for the series, we were going to choose this one, murder and non-negligent manslaughter. We're going to select that one. So that will replace our series. And then we want to do time scale. Now our horizontal axis is going to be a year. So we're going to select calendar and then year. And we're going to put down here the number of the year that we're starting with, which in our data set is 1960. If we want to skip values, maybe we only have data for every five years, then we can put an increment down here. But if we leave it blank, it will go by one at a time, which is fine for us. And if we select OK, and then OK again. Now if we look at our graph, we can see now that on the horizontal axis, we have our years plotted instead of just the line numbers and we have our nice line graph. Now if we want to plot more than one of these on the same graph, then we can do something slightly more complicated. Time series plot, multiple, so maybe we'll pick murder since we were doing that before. And maybe we want to compare that to robbery. We'll just check our horizontal axis. So we're going to go back to calendar, year, starting in 1960. And then we're going to select OK. And so now we can see we have two data sets plotted. The murder information is up here. Oh, so the murder is down here. And the robbery is up here. So you can see we, we had a great deal more detail on the murder before. But on the scale of the robbery numbers, all that detail is kind of washed out because there's a lot more robberies than there were um, murders. 
and we have um, a legend over here. Now, there are many other settings that we can use besides these, and so feel free to play around with some of the other options. Um, you can add labels to each one of these values if the horizontal axis, um, if you can't figure out the settings for those, and there's, there's many other options. So um, play around, experiment, don't be afraid to make a graph that you end up not using because who cares? Just use the one that you finally get to work out correctly. Time series graphs in tab 19.